Give it up for Mark. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Incredible. That was so inspiring. Wow. So our next Incredible speaker is actually someone who's running for Congress, but he's not just running for Congress, he's a pastor. So without further ado, Pastor Derek Gates, who's running for the 33rd District of Congress. I welcome you. Woo! really happening? <laughs> no? Go. So I got this knee injury and they're like, no, you're going up there. I said, how about I just talk from the ground? And Sarah's like, no, you need to go up there. Thanks, Sarah. Hey guys, so we the people are pissed, right? Yeah. I'm a pastor. We can say that, right? Yes. Because it's true, it's true. A matter of fact, there's a lot of people here, but there should be 50,000. There should be 100,000 people out here. Why? Because the nation that we know is almost gone. Yeah, exactly. Do you know that 43% of all the money ever printed was printed in the last 14 months? That is a recipe not for inflation, but for depression. The study shows that in the next four years, the homeless population in LA County could increase by 86%. By 86%. And is homelessness a problem in California now? Who thinks it's a problem now? Can you imagine that increased by 86%? Small businesses are leaving, big businesses leaving. Guys, this is a big problem, not just for California, but for the nation and the world. Over 100 retired generals and military leaders just wrote a letter. Did anybody hear about that? Yeah. Declaring that Biden was leading us into destruction. Guys, we are the last men and women standing in our nation. Exactly. If we do not take this nation back in 22, that's it. Right. The countdown begins. We're there. You are the last people standing. But I have hope. I have hope because you're here. Right. I have hope because people are standing. Amen. I have hope because people are regretting voting for Biden. I mean, how could you not regret when you go fill up the gas tank? Unless you're a snobby Tesla driver. And if you're a snobby Tesla driver, I still want your vote. Guys, we are in the most critical time in our nation's history right now. But it's also the most exciting time. Because I believe God has chosen these people to stand up and stand their ground and stand the line and to fight in the trenches. How many people believe that you are made for such a time as this? How many people believe that you are bred for the fight? Some people say, well, you're a pastor. You shouldn't be talking like that. Well, there's something called the Black Robe Regiment. In the United States, the state's Revolutionary War, where they would preach on Sunday, and they'd go out and kick your ass on Monday. And that's where we're at, is we are standing up for our nation, for our liberties, for who we are. Yes. Guys, I like the fact that I can worship my God freely. But if the, if the, if the corrupt politicians get their way, we will all be worshiping in basements and hiding in caves. Yes. And things like the Bible will be hate speech. Yes. Over my dead body, you will kill me in the streets before I fall to that. Exactly. The question is, are you willing to go the distance? Are you willing to do what it takes? Yeah. Because it's going to take a whole lot more than just a few people showing up. You need to be a walking billboard for what we need to do as a nation. You need to be screaming louder than the liberals and their crybabies. There are more of you, but the liberals scream louder. 
You've been told, take the take the high road, be quiet. Don't stir the waters. Well, it is time to stir the waters. God has made you a lion. We are God's sheep, but the lion lives within us. And it's time to start acting like lions. Stop acting like you're some scrawny little alley cat. Walking around, barely purring. You need to let out a roar. I truly believe that we can do something today to let this entire region know that we've had enough and that we'll no longer be silent. I'm going to count to three and we're going to scream as loud as we can. We're going to let out the roar. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the lion that lives within you, the lion that's here. Are you ready? I'm talking about you need to look stupid. I'm talking about throwing your kids up in the air, crowd surfing. I'm talking about screaming and yelling, spitting and hollering. Are you ready? One. Are you ready? Two. Three. Yeah!